Family must seek the wasteland for others of its kind in order to maintain itself. That is our fate. Third law, feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. We only kill the humans when we are hungry or when we must defend ourselves. We never hunt for sport or pleasure. We do not prey on children, for they are not yet taint tainted by society's view on us. The family will not tolerate murder. Nah. Fourth law, seek not the sun's light, embrace only the shadows. This is our refuge. Because we are creatures of the night, we must not set foot in daylight. We move silently across the ground, only under the watchful eye of the moon above. At the rising of the sun, we must seek the embrace of the shadows and never again gaze at its brilliance. The family seeks the dark as its refuge. They're vampires. I already know this. Fifth law, kill not our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Above all, no member of the family will ever take the life of another member without the consent of the current leader. Anyone disobeying this action, the most heinous of all of our crimes, will be exiled from this place forever. We must not let our own inner demons cause us to fight amongst ourselves. We number only in the few, and we cannot risk extinction. Uh, feeding grounds. These are perilous times for the family. We must feed, but the wasteland is a dangerous place. The only way to feed without massive loss of life is by getting close to the smaller human settlements. We must therefore use cunning and stealth to achieve our goals. No one is to forcibly enter one of their homes. We must keep our actions civilized. It's the only thing keeping us from being the animals they claim us to be. Cutting the air from incident, I do not want an incident like this happening ever again. Now it's clear that we are to represent ourselves in a we are not to represent ourselves in a hostile way. The killing of the town's brown was an act that was both unnecessary and potentially damaging to my work. I'm dealing with a very delicate situation in this town and I will not have it undermined by actions of revenge on humankind. Our time will come, I promise you, Vance. Okay, let's see if we can talk to Vance again or if we have to talk to more dumb people. You wish yes. to speak to me? Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? The vampires. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now. Ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland uh, need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. <sighs> now, you disappear. Ah, damn it. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. Blah, blah, blah. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. It's kind of a waste Most of human corpses. They have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter for him. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Hmm. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Hmm. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Ah, that's pretty gross. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. <sighs> he has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. He had lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to well, him. Ian's an ass. No, Son of a bitch. It would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. You wish to speak to... Um, well, I'm gonna go try to find him anyway, and if they don't let me, then I'm going to kill all of them, because they are pissing me off. I believe he's somewhere over here. Is 
Son of a bitch. Well, if I can't convince Vance the jackass to let me in, then I'm just gonna kill him and take the fucking key. I suggest, for your own good, that you... I'll sleep and heal up in their bed. Sweet. You wish to speak to me? Yes. I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. Nope. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Good, now I don't have to kill everyone. Very well. I will allow you to speak to him. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. Cool. Let's get the hell out of here now. Crisis averted by simply giving me the key. Open, damn you. Unlock. A hey, jackass. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. Definitely is. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. She's worse than my parents. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? <sighs> then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Help? Hmm. How can you help? There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Hmm. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Possibly. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. Yeah. I'm just going to gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Cool. Speak to Vance about Ian's decision. Now we have to kind of make a deal with Vance. It appears we have a lot to speak about. Yep. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the well, results right. of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Hmm. Um, let's go with curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood. That's packs nasty. From hospital wounds. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Hmm. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. Awesome. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Sweet. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. Yep. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Um, good. So now that all this talking.